Welcome back YouTubers, Johnny Boy Lopez here, back for another installment of the Indie Experiment, and I'm here with a very special guest, Driss567, man, how you doing, man? What's going on with you? Nice to have you. Yeah, man, yeah. thank you for coming, man, let's get right I'm from the city, I'm from Frisco, San Francisco, California, the Bay Area. Okay, um, okay, yeah. okay, that's what's up. So how, how was your upbringing out there? It was cool, you know, uh, regular shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, school, sports, shit like okay. that. And, you know, you, you just got the bullshit, try to stay away from that shit, you know what I'm saying? Just stay positive and focus on, you know, the shit that matter, family, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh yeah. Big on family, grow up big on family out there for sure. That's dope, that's dope. Basketball, football, then with my main two sports. I played baseball and soccer too, but for the most part, basketball and football. That's dope. That's dope. Uh, did you have like a favorite? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I like playing basketball, but I like like watching football more. If that makes sense. Okay. That's the whole thing right there. Like my family, like. They the ones who be telling me to do this shit. Like, I don't really be caring about the music shit like that. Like, mm -hmm. I don't care about no fame or nothing. But then, you feel me? I got, like, different situations going on. So, it be like, I got to find a way to get my people out the struggle some type of way. So, it be like, everybody be telling me to fuck with it for real. So, that's what it is. That's what I'm doing. Influences. I ain't gonna lie, I really like just this whole new generation of music, like I'm fucking with the whole little, new little shit, you know, the ride waves, the polo G's, the little dirt, everybody cool, like everybody doing their thing, I like, I like to see that, but as far as influences, I say probably like, I don't know, like, niggas probably don't even know, like Silky Slim, like I listen to Silky, I listen to uh, DJ Quick, feel me, I listen to, uh, I listen to old school niggas like that, I listen to NWA and shit like that, like, Old school shit, like niggas that drop game on you, feel me? Niggas that got something to say for real, not just talking shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That uh, shit, for real, just, I don't know, I've been rapping and shit, like I said, my uncle, uh, Mr. C, he from the city too, uh, he been a DJ for years since before I was born. Then my pops been fucking with the music shit since before I was born. And then my cousin, you feel me? I got a couple. You feel me? I got a couple of family members in the music industry. So it's mm -hmm. like you feel me? It was just I was always around the shit. I just never really took it serious because you know how you got something firsthand. It's like right in your face. Yeah. You ain't gonna like take to it like right away like a motherfucker that probably don't got it right there with him. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. So at first it was really just. You know, like I said, sports and the bullshit. And then as I got older, feel me? Just like last year, for real, my all my family members been telling me to fuck with it. You feel me? I'd be freestyling and shit. So they was like, yeah, go fuck with it for real. It be feeling good though. Like, like even in high school, like I had a couple songs in high school that I made, never released or nothing, but like a buzz around the whole school. So it's like, you feel me? Just everybody just fucking with my little vibe and my wave and shit like that. Just you feel me? It just feel good. Like it feel like in the, uh, like I'm supposed to be in that line, like type of thing. Like you feel me? I'm like I don't know. Like I'm supposed to be somebody for real. So. keep it solid with you i don't really got no real process so for real like it's like every day is different for me in the studio like one day like some days i like to be sober i don't want to smoke i don't want to drink nothing in the studio i just go in there and take care of my business lead that bitch you just feel me that's how i'm vibing some days i might be in there with my pops or my niggas or something you know we smoke drink and i'm just listening to the beats and shit like that pick a beat get on that motherfucking freestyle for a little bit and pick what i want out that motherfucker or sometimes i might come to the studio with a whole song writ already mm -hmm. or or just a hook writ like you feel me it's just i don't know just however i feel that day whatever i feel like waking up and doing that's dope. You feel me? You're always keeping it fresh, not really sticking to like one type of creative way. You feel me? Uh, sure, a lot sure. of people, you know, they get caught in that, that one creative space and that, that doesn't allow them to grow or evolve, you know, so. Shit, I 
ain't gonna lie, I got a whole lot of shit coming. I'm trying to uh finish up this project I got on the way real quick. I got a uh video actually I got the video shit with the nigga Selly Rule tomorrow to that dog shit, you know that that dog shit, you know what I'm saying? Um and then shit, I just got a whole lot of shit going on right now, you feel me? I'm trying to just make as much music as I can, you feel me? Keep shit in the archives and, and just keep on perfecting my craft and growing. Because like I said, I really just start taking this shit serious for real. So like, I'm like, I keep it solid. I'm like eight songs in. Like, That's dope. each one of them, everybody fuck with hella hard. So it's like, you feel me? I don't know, I just be getting good vibes from my music already. That's dope. Shit, to be honest with you, so okay, the relationship be like my pops, he he fuck with them niggas out there. Set or my pops, he really uh, you feel me? He, he fuck with them niggas tough out there. So it's like they already knew each other, and then shit, we was all in L.A. one time. I had pulled up to the studio with them niggas, and uh, I had just went over there just to get some studio time, uh, paying for my studio time or whatever. And uh, Bert heard the track or whatever, and was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna hop on this. I'm mm -hmm. like, it's good. That's dope, yeah, that's dope. Yeah. Shit, for real, for real, just coming home and getting to this bag, for real, mm -hmm. that's all I would think about every day, because you feel me, when I was in jail, my daughter, she wasn't born yet, so it was like, or the first time I was in jail, she wasn't born yet, so it was like, you know what I'm saying, I just kept on thinking, like, I'm in jail, nigga ain't got no money, nigga ain't got no spot. You feel me? I'm, I'm, well, it was cool because I was still young. I was 19, but it was like, you feel me? I was already feeling that pressure on my back because, like, I'm, all, like, I'm my mama's oldest son. I'm my daddy's oldest son. So it's like, you feel me? I don't really ask nobody for nothing because they got my siblings to look out for, shit like that. And I always just felt grown. So it's like, I feel that. You feel me? That. Now it's like, I'm, it's time to take some pressure off their back. Like, I got to start, you feel me? Trying to buy my mama house, put her up. You feel me? Shit like that. You feel me? Put my pops in something. Shit like that. <laughs> After they came and got me, shit, uh, I had bounced in the car with my cousin, Dre. His name Dre, too, so boo. Then we went to go get something to eat, just fucking around with my niggas and shit like that. And then, shit, I got straight to it, went to go get some money, you feel me? Had to go put that shit up, move into an apartment for my, me and my baby mama and for me and my baby and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Just had to take care of business. <laughs> a way to look at everything like that I go through in life like on the bright side I feel like I go through so much because it's like it's gonna get greater later like you feel me I feel like you feel me God I lie whoever you look to you feel me I feel like he put that that pressure on our back he ain't gonna put no more than you could stand you feel me and it's gonna make you stronger when you come up out that shit so it's like you feel me it's just preparing me for where I'm gonna be in life like you feel me for real for real oh, yeah. Main advice is this, ain't no big me's little you. So if you feel like you look up to me, like, you know what I'm saying? The grass ain't never greener. Everybody go through shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like I said, for me, for my, for my own personal self, what I be telling myself, it get greater later. So if you feel like you just constantly going through shit, you just gotta remember, like, you feel me? You making it through that shit for a reason. You meant to be here, you feel me? You supposed to be somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it was your time, you, you wouldn't be right here, you feel me? You'd be gone for real, like, so it's like, just keep your head up, keep thugging, you feel me? I'm saying it's gonna get greater later for sure. Uh, for real, for real, what I'm trying to do is, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna I'm a eventually, you know what I'm saying, get towards where I could uh, build my own label and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm trying to sign because I really, like I said before, I'm not really, I don't consider myself a rapper. I'm a businessman, so it's just like, it's a talent I can make some money from. So feel mm -hmm. me? So I'm going to do my business with this shit, but you feel me? Anyway, I see suitable for myself to get some, like, some good money and, you feel me, help somebody else in the process. That's what I want to do. So as far as, like, what you said, management, production, mm -hmm. all that kind of shit. I engineer my own self right now. I record myself at the house all the time, you feel me? So... <laughs> It's not even about my area or like my city or you feel me or nothing like that. For me, it's like I'm trying to 
I'm really trying to just put that whole spotlight on that whole, on this whole side of California for real. Like, you feel me? Like, so it's like, I don't know. I'm just trying to go global with this shit. I ain't, I'm not focused on the geographic. I'm trying to be global with it. So, and that's dope. That's what it is for me. That's dope. <laughs>
Yeah. Traumatized. Yeah, so yeah, back with yeah. G, I'm gonna say it again. Y'all gotta do something about that, man. Hey, it get sounds it like you got some good ideas. We might need him on the board and oh, yeah. get so you yeah, feel yeah, me get yeah. a little sponsorship deal. I might got a on. jingle for y'all. Y'all never hey, know. You feel me? Come hey, holler at me. Pay sure me and hate me on IG. Hell yeah. Pay me and hate me on IG. Go follow me. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with a lot of different types of music, so it's like it's hard for me to be like. This is my favorite. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But I'm not going to lie. The most, I think the most musically inclined person that I that I listen to and shit like that would have to be Michael Jackson. Facts, facts. That yeah. nigga go crazy. Yeah, he yeah. different. He yeah. different for real. That nigga different. Yeah, for real. yeah, yeah. Different I got him tattooed on my arm, so I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Getting to this bag, man. You know what it yeah, is. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Money, man. My you daughter, gotcha. she's so spoiled. She want to go to look her favorite place in the world to go, and I don't know why. It's Target, but she just know Target toy section is her spot. Like she don't care about Walmart. She don't care about none of these other toy stores. The little Disney store in the mall. She don't care about none of that shit. She want to go to Target. That's she want to go to Target every time she come get with me. Daddy, let's go to Target <laughs> every day. So it was like dope. I gotta have my money right. You feel oh, me? Yeah. Tearing me off, I ain't gonna lie. And then you feel me, bills, you feel me, trying to take care of my family, shit like that. You feel me? Shout out my brother, Clash Kick Lab, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That nigga down, I'll be trying to help out that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Do what I can, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So it'd be like, I just be trying to get some money and sleep, get some rest when I can, shit, when I'm not beating that road up, shit. Uh, make music for sure, that's what I love to do, I ain't gonna lie, I make music all the time, I be writing. And hella shit, like, I write on my phone with acapella, just, like, lyrics that pop in my head, just, like, because it'd be, like, real life shit be going on, so it'd be, like, I'd be having to get that shit off my chest, and I don't got nobody I can really just talk to, so it'd be, like, I'd be talking to my music, like, if y'all listen for real, like, and just listen to my lyrics and shit, y'all gotta go through the stories with me, y'all gonna see what I be talking about, I be painting a picture for real, feel me? For real, for real, real Picasso with this shit, I be painting a real picture. <laughs> Say, like I said, I'm a mama person, I'm a daddy person, so it's like, you feel me? I feel like it's on my back. I feel like I'm trying to break generational curses, you feel me? I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be the one to, you feel me, take us over that threshold. It ain't like every, nobody really, I ain't gonna lie, like, we ain't never was like all the way toe up, but it's still like, you feel me? Nigga go through what he go through, so it's like, you feel me? I'm trying to be the one to put it really in that account for us, you know what I'm saying? And that. <laughs> trickle down. Mm -hmm. My kids, kids. They kids, you feel me? My mama's on. For real. <laughs> Shit, just having my daughter. Mm -hmm. Like, you feel me? I ain't never thought about nobody else like that, for real. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, not like that. Like, not on no selfish shit or nothing. Mm -hmm. But, like, as far as, like, like, it's not about me no more. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It's like, like, I be feeling fucked up, like, when I when I can't see her and shit like that, like, you feel me? I be feeling fucked up, so it be like, it's a real feeling I ain't never had for nobody else before, so it's like, I know it's like my ki my my daughter, you feel me, my kids to come, like, you feel me? Like, that shit serious, like, I wanna be that guy for real for them, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I look up to my pops, you feel me? He that guy for me, so it's like, I wanna be that guy for them, like, you know what I'm saying, but... For real. Right now, like I said, you can follow me on Instagram at pay me or hate me. Just like it sound. No underscores or none of that shit. Just at pay me or hate me. You feel me? And then shit. Right now I'm I'm still trying to get all my uh YouTube channels and all that shit together, like you feel me? You could uh get at me on Spotify if you wanna listen to some shit right now, you feel me? Look me up on Spotify, Dreads five six seven, you know what I'm saying? But oh, yeah. other than that, everything to come. I'm trying to get everything the right way, you feel me? Vivos and all the shit, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, well we know you you're gonna be booming in these next couple of months, man. So when you get everything rolling, man, we might have to bring you back in, you know, and, and we can talk about the project, we can talk about everything you got going, all the business deals and everything, man. I appreciate you taking time to sit down with me, man, and 
getting to know your story. You yeah, feel me? I appreciate it. Hell yeah. Man. Straight up, Thank straight you, up, man. Yeah, sure. And you know, everybody out there, go check out everything he got going on. Make sure you follow him on Instagram, like he said, and make sure you follow the channel. This is Johnny Boy Lopez, Driz. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. It's the experiment.